Yo, you're still watching Prime Morning this morning. Now, she was the first woman to actually share interest and she, keep, she became an aspirant, you know, for the head position at the Ghana Football Association, GFA, when Chris Kinyantichi was also there standing for re-election. And of course, it's a very daring act and of course, it carries so much uh, confidence in you. But today, we are lucky to be graced. Uh, her presence is here with us, uh, Ramatu as well, or Fabia Ramatu, beg your pardon. Welcome to the show. Good morning. You're a very beautiful woman, I must say. Oh, thank you. I'm blushing. We would have been, uh, it would have been an excitement to see you every morning on our screens uh, heading our Ghana football. Yeah. I'm very sure you just, your face alone would have attracted millions of sponsors across the world for us. But oh, anyway, that's on the, on the lighter side. Welcome. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Many, many, many oh, happy returns to you too. <laughs> Ladies. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, I'm just wowed by the contrast. You know, we always say that women women can do what men can do, and even better. <coughs> now, in 2015, you were in the news, really. Uh, but tell me, why did you decide to want to be GFA president? Nothing else but sports. Okay, thank you. Um, I read coaching in University of Education. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I learned a lot about football. And I love the aspect of helping women because way back in school, I was part of the team. I was a keeper for the school team. We played Gusa, but women were not being in there because when it gets to us, we didn't get what we we're supposed to get. Our, our fees, everything was just down. So I said, I'm like, why are we being treated like it? Because we played the 19, same 90 minutes, the same sport, well, sometimes even menstruation, and we played the 90 minutes, and we are not being appreciated. So I feel we should get more attention. We should be more appreciated than the men. So before that, I was with this uh, this man, this great man, late slide. I tell you, he was the owner for Liberty Professionals. He brought me into sports. Most of the people thought he was my father, but he wasn't. Oh. He just saw me and said, no, I like you. I want to work with you. This man took me everywhere through sports to meet all these big people that matters in football. So everywhere he goes, like I'm with him, and his car everywhere. So meeting all these people, learning a lot from him. Then he told me, my daughter, now you need a certificate that you can work with. But I'll take you to Winneba. You start something there. And if wow. you're good or if I see what I want to see in you, I take you outside. Then you continue. But unfortunately, he died when I completed ah. school. So I said, okay, fine. Since he took me to this level, then he took me to Abedi Pele. He took me to him. We had a talk, and Abedi said, okay, then I'll take you. Like, when you finish school, I'll take it up from there. So after school, I went back to see Pele, and I told him that I want to work with the FA. So I worked with the FA. I worked with Mr. Christian Yantichi. So working with them in the office, I learned a lot of things, seeing a lot of things. And I did other coaching courses. I read, I did the licensee in South Africa. I did FIFA for women's sports. You know, sometimes they come back to teach us. So I did a lot of programs in Pram Pram concerning women. So I'm like, if we are doing all these things, learning sports, and we are all playing the 90 minutes, why don't we women be appreciated? Why don't they give us what we're supposed to do? Look at most of the b-boys, most of the adverts. You have the male footballers there, but you don't have any of the women there. Most of us finish sports and we are gone, nothing. Some of us do not even get husbands because they say we have the masculine body. And it's going against women. So I'm like, why don't I come on board to support women and grassroots football? Because the likes of Michael Essien, Stephen Appiah, all these people came from grassroots. One of the days when Kotoko and House is playing, people will rush to the park. Okay. But now if they are playing, what is there to excite you? Okay. So I said, okay, let me get there to revive coast football and women football. Well, but at, at about 2015, there were some people were, that were highly competitive Competitive. They could, you know, go equally to compete for that chair. But what was running through your mind? Were you very confident? Did you think you could make an impact when you're Ye picking up the phone? Yes, I did because there were other people who could have gone, but they were scared. Yes. Because they were doing things that were not right. I don't want to talk about it. So okay. they are like, okay, if I go, maybe Mr. Kwesinia Techi will do A, B, C, D, T, or this will go against me. And I had done nothing wrong. I had not spent anybody's money. I had not done anything that when it comes out, it will be any bad thing to me. So I'm like, okay, then I can do it. Because I have worked with this. I worked with the FA for four years. I know the inside out. And what is there that they are doing that I can do? But people were not ready to accept a woman. People were not ready to accept because they thought, oh, you were too young, or you don't have much connections, or you can't even lead us. Most people were even scared to endorse before going for vetting. And one thing I didn't even like, because when we were going for vetting, I was competing with Mr. Kwesinia Techi, but he was the chair for the vetting. Can you imagine? Wow. I mean, who does that? Wow. 
So like everything was around him. Okay. And I'm like, no, you can't be the chair whilst we're all going for the same position. Okay, I'm, I'm very interested in this one. And <laughs> also somebody that uh, w you mentioned was the reason why you couldn't submit your form. We'll come and talk about that <laughs> later. But let's, let's just go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Stay with me. Thank you for sticking staying with me. We're talking to Ophelia Ramato. You remember her. She was uh, determined to unseat Cuisine Yan Tichi. But today we're talking rather on a lighter note. However, that period, I remember that you blamed uh, one Palmer. Palmer. Yes, he's, a, he's, a, he's an executive yes. there yeah. for, for sabotaging you not being able to submit your forms or the whole procedure. Why is that? And is no, that true? I, I, I don't want to talk about him for him to feel the importance because after all, what? Yeah, I'm being real. I don't want to talk about him because people are hypocrites. Ghanaians do not appreciate the good things that we are doing. And we don't want to push the people who want the best for the nation okay. or who wants to do the right thing because of our selfish interests. But because he came out to say, if I'm able to submit my form, if I'm able to get the 10 people to endorse, I should change his name. And funny enough, there are a lot of people who endorsed me. The day of submission, they called to beg my family, I'm a patron, you what do you call you who is signature and who betray? How is that possible? Did you feel a threat on your line? No, I, 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 I felt at a point because I had to move from my house. It, was, it, it wasn't it was easy as I'm sitting here saying it on a lighter note. It okay. was very difficult. People were calling me with unknown numbers, threatening me. I, you could go to a place and the security would get to you, insulting me, calling me all sorts of names. I had to move from my house and I even had to get security. I was moving with army. Like, so German, I wasn't, it wasn't, it's not like, I'm saying it light today, like, because it's part of the normal thing. But at that time, it was very difficult. They just didn't understand why and how, why of failure. Because we've been there, we think we're supposed to go. But I didn't tell you not to go for it. You know what you, that I wanted to go. Because I wanted to change something. I wanted to do something for our football. With or without the presidency, so, so I wanted to do something for Ghana football. So was this an emotional sabotage or it was physical? Like really unable, for you being unable to submit your form? Was this say you were just destabilized by his comments? Or it was physical that, listen, uh, Palmer didn't want you to, to... I know you don't want to talk about it, but it's just necessary that we clear the air. It's been years, but it's just necessary. Especially because we have our women's league coming out. <laughs> yes. No, because the people that endorsed me called and said... This is some of the statements of Fabia. When you say Palma first, say Chaladiana, you sign your signature, or your partial man, Franco. And these are people who have endorsed you. Okay. Think, you forget about them. Think about their families, and they are begging you. They have their signatures there. Would you take it? But these are 10 people against the women you want to help. Are they not more motivating enough? No, they are more, but these are people you're going to work with. These are their signatures. Okay. I gave you my signature, and I'm telling you, please, I want my signature back. But I'm curious, why did you not, uh, why, did you, why didn't you show interest uh, last year? No, I didn't, there are a bunch of hypocrites. Are they now? You know, sometimes, I don't want to talk about things, but I think I have to. Do you know when it's time to play a game or when they are going to the stadium and I even call for tickets, they tell me, ah. See, see how they say football on a new hope you mean to me work it to just go and buy your ticket. How is that possible? Sometimes you even buy your ticket, you want to go to the stadium, and the way they mistreat you, it's so annoying. Mm. And sometimes when people do things like that, you feel like, am I not a Ghanaian? Let me tell you, when you travel outside, the respect they give you, the way they receive you, you want to feel like you want to work for them, but not for Ghana. I remember I went to South Africa and Tanzania, and the way they came to receive me at the airport took me to their stadium, various teams, and they were teaching me things. I'm like, is this me? Am I not a Ghanaian? Am I not doing something for my country? So when you have things that you want to do for your country, you want to support the sports or the football in Ghana, sometimes it's so irritating. They are a bunch of hypocrites. So they think about themselves, their personal interests, not the nation, not the teams. Have you and given up? I haven't given up, but I need time to come back good and come back well. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> well, I've been doing the, the listening as well. I think you had great conversations. Now, for uh, a, a woman like you, you know, I miss a lot of uh, um, men, you know, a very, very powerful male-dominated um, space. What kept you going day in, day out, you know, and what were some of the huge challenges on just the fact that you were a woman? You know, when I was working with Bekum Chesi, I was a coach for Bekum Chesi. Sometimes we are going to play a game. My, <laughs> my boss will call me and tell me, yes, I'm bound for basketball, please wait and go alone. A coach. Forgetting I coach them on the pitch, I go to the dressing room with them. So why am I not supposed to be on the pitch? And what was the reason? Because 
they see about how they are going to lose in football. Oh. Forgetting I coach them on the pitch. I'm with them at training grounds. I'm with them at the dressing room. So what stops me from going to the park on the D day? Sometimes I say I'm like, do we know what we're about? Are we really supporting football or believing in other things? I'm like, okay, this is not going to stop me. I'm working, so I have to go. I stay back, watch the games, get the results, and work on the next thing. These are things that we need yeah. to get out of it. We need to support our women. When the person is in for sports, it's sports. She is a woman. That is what she wants to do. She has the talent. She has the passion. Support the person. Don't bring personal issues to it. A lot of women face all forms of, um, um, let me just say, sexual abuse, you know, and it, it comes in various uh, organizations. A very similar one was Sex for Grace, which happened recently in our top universities in Africa. Do you, did you ever face such uh, utterances or, uh, you know, abusive statements from men whilst you were trying to pursue this course? Yeah, Lord. And <laughs> sometimes working, you know, working with the national team, see there's five, five players and you being a woman, people even think you're sleeping with them. Being close to some of the players, people talk about it. I remember my boyfriend called me and said, I heard you're dating this player, is it true? Mm -hmm. Because I'm cool with the player, because I'm sitting in his car, or because I'm driving his car, because I go. Listen, football comes from head to toe. It's not about the physical aspect, seeing them on the pitch training. Psychologically, they need to be stable. There are some players having issues with their girlfriends, some having issues with their families, that you need to talk to them. You need to speak to their brains, their thoughts, for them to come back. Sometimes you need to go the extra mile by visiting them in their various homes because you need resources. So if you're working with these boys, they are men, let me say boys, but I call them boys because oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, but, but, boys, yeah, exactly, yeah. but these men, some are married, some are, some are having kids, but I call them boys, not because they are boys, as yeah, you say. Yeah. So working with these boys, you need to know them. Sometimes they come to training. Some come and they're absent-minded. They are off. You, you get close, you talk to them, and their girlfriends are pregnant. Their girlfriends are giving them issues. Some are even asking for money that they don't even have because they've not taken their bonuses. You need to psych them. Sometimes you need to even go to their houses to speak to their girlfriends. And some of the girls get to disrespect you, thinking you're sleeping with their guys. <laughs> but you need results. You need to bring them. You need to get results. And even for them, the women, but a whole lot of things, some calls names, mm -hmm. some will insult you, that you're whore, a whole lot of things. But if you want to do something, if you're focused, if you're determined, you want to get A, I'm looking at A. I don't care about what you're saying. Do you, you will do, say do it. Do you feel the, the current GFA uh, board, team, uh, committee is, uh, hasn't been fair when it comes to gender? <laughs> what we are working opinion? on it. Let's give them time. They just came in, let's give them time. Because a lot has happened, they need to restructure and do a lot. Let's give them time. What do you make of the current president? Kurt, he's a nice person. Because my team played with him when he was at um, James. I know him personally, he's a nice person. Let's give him time. Let's give him time. Okay, so well, away from football just a little, <laughs> before we go, let's just get to know it. What's been happening with you personally? Yes, okay, um, so... Sorry. Some follow-ups with uh, some donations you had been uh, yeah, engaged in as well. Yes, yeah. I, have, I have an NGO called Rama Visions. Um, we solicited for fans, scouts for talented but needy girls, sponsored your education. Those who still want to be in sports, we push them, put them in the right channels where they're supposed to go. Rama Vision is basically for women and to support education, empower women to get to where they want to get to. No matter where you're coming from, no matter the situation, you need to be empowered. You need to know yourself, look for what is in you, bring it up, but we are in to support you. So after all this football thing, you know, I did coaching and I was limited. So I went back to school to read psychology and I did counseling as well. Wow. So currently I'm doing my national service and I am the NASPA president. Wow. Yes. Oh, so this is sick. At um, 37 million. Hospital. Oh, wow. it, it, it's clear it's clearly spells out that you have a plan and a vision so what is the what is the plan then what is the final thing for uh for you um i'll come back next year i would explain everything the way i don't want some people in so quotes big exactly because you're all hypocrites <laughs> Wow, this okay. is this is. I'm I'm actually very so, uh, impressed. Uh, yeah, with you. you're highly you fixated on the word hypocrites. Some people also use mafia. They say that some sort of mafiaism in the GFA is that true? It is there. Yes, is it, it is a very human true. being or is a machine? Or is <laughs> human a, being. A human being. Okay. Uh, Can we not just <laughs> pluck it out? Is it not somebody that can be plucked out? It will take time. It will take okay. time. Yes, it will okay. take time.
Wow. So but we will get there. Okay. So aside from football, what are the other interests of Rama? Oh, I used to act, but my daddy didn't want me to be on the screens because my daddy is a Muslim okay. and he didn't understand that thing. So I featured in one or two movies. I did adverts and I switched to football. I love to travel too and I love to help people. So, but uh, I think that coming weeks we have, is it the Women's League? Which one particularly is coming up? There's some football. Um... Now, to be honest, I'm not concentrating on that. I'm concentrating on NASPA because okay. I have a whole district under me and What's I must NASPA? deliver. NASPA is a National Service Personnel Association okay. and I'm their president so my people are looking up to me and it's only one year. Okay. So before we go for the next year to come there are a lot of things I have to do for them. So my con my concentration is it's on NASPA. On them. Yes, are you married? Please. Not. But I'm seriously engaged. You're seriously engaged. I like that. I like that. Seriously engaged. <laughs> I like the way well, you qualified it. I've got a few comments on social media. <laughs> Let me say good morning to Rosario says, Mother, you look beautiful and strong. Another one from uh, Mary Blessing says, I listen to her and seriously, Ghana, we have a lot to do. Let me say happy birthday to Ni Adam233 on Twitter. It's your birthday today and uh, you are a keen follower of our show, our morning show. Thank you very much and happy birthday to you. So, um, when, <laughs> as a woman, um, now you mentioned you're seriously engaged, so now I want to move on to that personal relationship question, <laughs> how you intend to manage a huge area like football and another very huge area marriage. like marriage. You know, I'm, I'm the right person Yes. because he helped me find myself. He's like, babe, go back to school. You're very good in helping people. Go read psychology and counseling. I went back to school and it was great. Mm -hmm. So he understands me. He wants me to achieve what I want to achieve. He loves football and he pushes me to get what I want to get. Mm -hmm. I think he's the right person for me. God brought wow. him into my life. I like so that. he understands everything. Whatever I want to do, if I'm going left, he tells me, no, go right. And I, I set to think and the right is the right path. They say behind every successful woman is a man as well. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't say that. They never did. <laughs> You so are, that's the key. You are, yeah, you are a very ah. strong woman, and I think, um, you know, for a lot of young women out there who also, one way or the other, are facing challenges in businesses and areas that they find interest in, what is that one message that you want to tell them? Focus on whatever you want to do. Don't let the social media, excuse my language, fool you. Because there are a lot of things happening on social media that, might, that you might think is all flashy. Go to their various works and their suffering. Mm. Focus on what you want to do. Don't be distracted, and but still, Believe in God and humility is the key. Be wow. humble in whatever you do. Don't think because God has placed you there or because you've seen it, you become pompous. Humble yourself. Learn. Listen. Don't talk more and pray. Is the GFA a place that you would encourage uh, women to, to play active roles in personally from everything exactly. you've gone through? Exactly. Yeah, because we need women there. We need to push. We need to support our own. There are a lot of women in Ghana. I think we are more than the men. So they need to push us to help us. It's just quite, um, you know, I don't understand why we haven't had women play key roles in there. Is it, was it just under the administration of Christina Antichi that maybe blocked a lot of, uh, we seen women fighting? Because recently as well, there was a lady who... Um, Amanda. Amanda, yes. And, well, she, she didn't see the light of day. Unfortunately, oh, the, the she lady was ridiculed. Who, um, she didn't get any votes uh, as well. Do you think and she was also sabotaged? Do you think she was? Um... Not really, because there are few people like her that wanted to talk to her to tell her one or two things. And like she knew what she was about, she knew what she wanted, and she wanted to go for it. Sometimes when you talk to people that you've been there before, they think maybe because she didn't get it, you're jealous. You don't want them to get there. Yeah, it's a thing about us women. What? Better luck to him. Yeah, better, better luck, luck. To him. <laughs> Our time is up. We have to get going now. But I hope you enjoyed that show this morning. Thank you so much, thank Ramat, you. for joining us here this morning. We'll come to you after your presidentship, okay? <laughs> All right, so thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow exactly at 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Thank you to Kashkane Boutique Insider Suite. And thank you to Preman as well. Take control,